Hi, this is Mr. Ward, and welcome to Chapter 3, point, three Section 3, Proofs Beyond Corresponding Parts of Congruent Triangles Are Congruent, or Beyond Kapakataka. I'm going to do a short video with hints about how to deal with number 3, since some confusions were expressed. So here we go. Uh, we have been we are have been given some information in R is congruent to PR. We've been told RO bisects NRP that angle, and we're supposed to prove that OR bisects NOP. So I'm going to give you some hints that should get you where you need to be so you can do this. So we'll start off by identifying the things that we know. We know NR is congruent to RP. We also have been told that RO bisects in angle NRP. If that is true, then we know that by definition of an angle bisector, these two angles are congruent. Now, something you can assume from the diagram is that OR is itself, and by the reflexive property, we can also say that OR is congruent to OR. Once you have that information, you have enough information to prove that triangle NRO and PRO are congruent. And if you can prove those are congruent, then you can prove all the corresponding parts of those triangles are congruent. Now, you're supposed to figure out if OR bisects NOP, angle NOP. The way you could know if OR bisects NOP is if this angle is congruent to this angle. If NOR, okay, if NOR, this angle is congruent to this angle. If those angles are congruent, OR bisects NOP. Well, do you have enough information to prove that? Your pathway lies through the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent um, idea, and that will get you where you need to go because you already have enough to prove that triangle NRO and triangle PRO are congruent. I'm going to leave the rest to you, and I hope that helps.